All right, so we're gonna go over uh, how I kind of set up light burn for any jobs that we're doing. And this is the uh, X-Tool D1, the little custom uh, waste board here. Of course, I don't have any alignment marks or anything like that. Just, uh, just something that looks good for uh, posting online and things. So we're doing a little slate coaster today. Uh, one of the biggest things I've had problems with is alignment with the X-Tool. I spent so much time in the beginning, uh, you know, with the, the orange shroud that goes around to protect your eyes from the laser. And it just threw off such a, a bad image where the the X would be kind of crooked and my image wasn't getting perfectly square. So I kind of walk you through what I do. So I've been selling, selling a lot of golf course coasters here lately and uh, I'm just walking through my settings. The biggest thing that I've done is create an outline. This coaster is a four inch by four inch coaster. So I just simply came in here and made a square and you can see my width just about four inches by four inches. Um, over here on my cuts and layers, you can see the outline is set as a line. I have it set to a speed of 60 and a power of two. And I do that just so I can trace the outside edge of the coaster. That way I can get my material aligned. And since this is on slate rock, kind of the best settings that I have found, um, 75 on the speed, 100% power. I'm not using air assist, I can turn that off. I do have the air assist attachment, works very well. I do recommend that. Uh, so I'll kind of show you what, what I do now. So here's our image. Uh, so this is a four by four square and I just make sure all of my font, uh, lettering, my image, everything is inside the boundaries. And then when I get ready to start the job, to make sure everything's aligned, I'm gonna go turn off these layers where only the outline is left. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit start. And remember I only have the top layer for the outline checked. And yes, it is a lovely 97 degrees today. Click yes. You'll see it shoot a blue laser down. And I'm simply just gonna, gonna get this square part set up. And I have it set on a power level of two. So it's really not gonna hurt you if you're touching this. And I watched a guy's video on YouTube. I'll link him below. He kind of showed me how to get all this set up. All right, so I had to do three passes and the blue was around. Uh, it kind of matched up on all the edges perfect every single time. And just for the video, I'll go and do it one more time. So, and again, I'm making, I'm getting our coaster completely centered. I've had bad luck with the, the red X. So this is my method of making sure things ready to go. I make sure all my other layers are turned off and just the outline of that four by four box is checked. I'm going to tell it to start. My power settings are on a power level of two, so it's okay to, if it kind of touches you, it's fine. I'm still wearing my safety goggles right now for you, the ones going to be jumping in the comments. So I'm just going to check it one more time, make sure the blue dot is right on the edge of the coaster all around. And it looks like it is. I don't think I'm going to make any changes to that. So now, once all that looks good, I'm gonna go over here, turn my output off, show off, which I could leave the show on. I'm gonna check my other layers. And all the layers are now back on there. I'm going to hit start. And that's all it is. I hope everybody has a good day. Thank you.